What's up everybody, Tendo here, that there's Hannah Warrior Princess. We're about to get started today by doing a little bit of thrifting, but I wanna tell you that I probably have the most interesting uh, intro to a video we've ever shot because we got in our van this morning to find out that we've been cheese poofed. That's a thing, I guess, I don't know. There are some crazy kids running around here in the apartment complex, and I guess they decided that we deserve to be cheese poofed, but let's, uh, let's, let's do this. Maybe the birds will eat them. I don't know. Let's. Why, why would you waste cheese poofs? I don't understand. But let's uh, let's go thrifting. The first Goodwill we're going to today is a fancy Goodwill. You want to know how you know? Automatic opening doors. You don't see that on every Goodwill here. So I went through all those manuals and got all the ones I'm either interested in playing or the ones that resell for pretty good. This resells for a few bucks. This definitely does. I want to play this one. Uh, these were just a dollar. I want to play those. But these, I can get a few bucks out of these bad boys. So let's go. I found some vintage dead stock chick jeans or chic. I don't know. It's spelled the same. So, you know, same, same. Um, they're really cool. They're half off, so I'll definitely get these. I've never really seen a dead stock pair of those before, so it's pretty cool. I'm still on the hunt for post-coronavirus Rockies, but these are pretty close. Some little Western Cherokee jeans. They're five bucks, which I'm not mad about. That's totally fine. I'll get these. Yay! All right, that was a pretty good start, I'd say. I really, really like collecting game manuals, but honestly, I like looking at them way more than I like actually using them. We're not really one to use gaming manuals that much unless we're really, really stuck. So even the ones I wanted to keep here, I was scanning and they're worth a few bucks. So we're probably gonna go home and put all these on eBay today and uh, make our money for the day is what I'm thinking. But I did get two Wii games and uh, I'm really excited about Madagascar carts because I just, I love random carting games. So good start for the day. Let's go to another one. All right, Hannah, get us started on our Ikea bag. Woo! Fill that baby with books. Let's go. Man, there's some good ones in there. So good. So good. Look at this nonsense. Isn't that crazy? There's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff in there. You know, the editor in me, the storyteller in me always wants to flub things a little bit and save like that first stop we just came from for last so that the, the middle of this video gets exciting when I find this stack of gaming manuals. But I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. There's a really good chance that we don't top that first find of the day because it was pretty awesome, but we are at another Goodwill. So let's see if we can at least try to top it or match it. Uh-oh, more pops, let's go. Nice, it's been a great week for pops. Uh-oh, no way. Tindo shades in the bag. What is life right now? Hold on. What? What is life? What? Guess what I found. What did you find? Guess. Um, 
a little big planet plushie. <laughs> it gets better. Oh my god! <laughs> Three more pops. Let's go. That's awesome. There's a bunch of games here. I don't really see anything I don't already have. Just gotta make sure. Well, Super Swing is not something I have. It is missing its manual. Mm, I'll have to think about that. Look at all this Wii Fit though. Uh, that's a bummer. That's a that's a that's a rip. I have a pretty small collection of little wire clasp lid jars, and um, I collect specific ones. They are the ones with like little prints on the side. I have a wildflower and I have a strawberry, and I just found this little rosebud one. I didn't even know they had a rosebud one. I know that there's like a spice of life one where it's like vegetables and stuff, and I'm not really into that, but this one's so cute. I'm very excited to find another one. Yay! Ninja scroll. <laughs> it's yellow, which means yellow stickers are a dollar, but it's already a dollar, so let's get that. Let's let's buy the anime VHS, because why not? I want you to look at this Dreamer art book. What did that come in? Because there's no sticker on it. That means there's probably something else here it goes in. But... Huh. Well, I'll still try to get it. Hmm. 249 is all right for this if it works. Sounds good. Look at this. Yellow tag. Dollar. Let's go. Two Nerf guns. All right, that was all right. Got some really random stuff, but I'm pretty happy about those three pops because it was $5 for three of them and Snape was in there. And we have like, not all of the Harry Potter collection we found last week, but a lot of Harry Potter ones. So it'd be cool to toss that Snape in with those Harry Potter pops to sell them as a lot or something like that. Because we've got all of the Breaking Bad pops we found last week listed and we've sold a couple of those. Uh, but I haven't sold any of the Harry Potter ones yet. You guys ready for a Goodwill that we have never ever been to on the channel? This is a Goodwill we were actually sitting in the car a couple days talking about, thinking, you know, we haven't been to that Goodwill in ages and ages. And luckily, it showed up on the map today on the way to where we were going. So, new Goodwill, let's go. Well, new for y'all. I've been in here before, but it's been a while. Why don't you look at how dirty this Xbox is? That's rough. Considering I just paid a dollar for two of them yesterday. I got paid 15 today, but that was dirty. I found this little strawberry shortcake mug. It's super, super cute. Um, it sells for like $10, but it's only a dollar. It's so pretty. I'm not kidding. Out of all the cool stuff I found today, that might be fine of the day. Because these are the uh, exact magazine sorters that I use, but this is one of the super wide ones. And uh, I need more of these way more of them so very happy with that that is a battery powered squirt gun nice it's a vintage canister day i found a big one this one i did know existed as well um it has a name but i can't think of it it's so pretty i'm gonna get this one too it's only two dollars all right i found the video games there's a lot to look at but look at this beyblade gamecube would be fine of the day but rip but I'm still going to buy that case, so, all right. Mmm, oh, come on. Somebody robbed these. I was going to buy this Barbie game simply because it's in this box, but... Somebody robbed the Barbie game. Bakugan. Do I have Bakugan? Well, I found some stuff I don't have. It's a little pricey, but it's all in good shape, so I'm going to get it. This would have been fine of the month. Beyblade V-Force GameCube. Hopefully the loose disc on eBay isn't expensive and we'll, we'll get... Let's get out of here. Talk about completely random. Hannah bought a strawberry shortcake cup. <laughs> and I bought a strawberry shortcake game. I mean... That kind of stuff doesn't happen every single day. That's a strawberry shortcut game. Strawberry shortcake. I said strawberry shortcut. So we're thinking that this is gonna be the last stop of the day. We kind of drew out a route on the map before we got started today. And this is the last one. 
but uh, I'm not mad about it because I've got a pretty good haul today. Lots of stuff to resale, lots of stuff to make a few bucks on, and lots of new video games too. Well, I don't know if I've got anything super playable yet. Slim Pickens. I'm always excited to find things like this where the work has already been done for me. Here's some vintage Levi shorts, really cute, distressed hem, and ba-boom! We've got stud details. That two-tone effect is really cool. They are some shorty shorts, though. Bold choice. Wouldn't have been what I've done, but um, these someone will really like. They are $6, though, which is kind of a lot for shorts. Um, but I think I can kind of sell them for premium because there is such beautiful work done to them. You know you drew up a pretty good route whenever you're going to the Goodwills you planned on and you get to the last couple and they start to peter out. You know you're stopping just in time because you could keep going, just make yourself miserable because I'm not finding much at this Goodwill, but I'm not gonna leave with nothing. Second one in a day. Pretty happy about that. I really do need these. Oh, and look, it's a dollar. Sweet. I always get a little starstruck whenever I find a brand name vintage piece that I've been looking for. And this is some federal glass. This is really pretty. And then this little sunflower thing I have seen pop up in many a search. Um, as it's a very popular piece. It's a little expensive though, so I'm not gonna get it today. It's not in great condition. But this baby is in really good condition and Hala for a dollar, yes, we're gonna get that. I was just talking about how I'm probably not gonna find anything, but I spoke too soon because look, definitely getting that for the controller collection and then, really? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that for 15 bucks. Did you find anything? Found a pair of Scandy shorts. Wow, I got an iPod. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, that was a pretty great last stop. I actually got a couple books to go home and make some buttons out of, so we're gonna quit thrifting there. Let's go home, I'm gonna make a few buttons. I'm gonna do a little work in the game room and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap this bad boy up. You know how you know when you're done thrifting? When? When you can't see the Ikea bag anymore. <laughs> so it's Saturday as of shooting this and the post office closes really soon. But we've got some Tindo's trash orders that came in today and yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and get them out real quick. Fresh box them. Fresh. Rip. Fresh box of Tindo shades. You guys have been buying these up like crazy. Uh, this order is for a blue pair and a white pair. Look at them. Beautiful, right? What pair did I wear today? White. How about that? Now, I'll just tell you this while I get these packaged up. I've been getting a lot of comments and messages from you guys asking me about some of the colors I wear uh, and whether or not you can get them. Like I wear a see-through pair, like a, a transparent pair, and uh, they're awesome, but they're really hard to get. So they're really hard for me to source to resell. You know, the, the profit margin would be too thin, so I don't really sell some of the fancier ones I have on, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to find some suppliers that got some different colors, but. Uh, Let's get these shipped out today. And then I think I think we sold a couple art prints. I'll get those packaged up too. So if you ordered some art prints and you ordered some Tindo shades, look out, they're coming. All right, we also sold a Nerf gun today. These are always fun to box up because a lot of times when we sell Nerf guns, they're such odd shapes, we just make the boxes. But uh, we had a nice Amazon box laying around for this one. So we're gonna get that shipped out today too. We've, uh, we've been doing pretty well with Nerf guns, which is why you've been seeing me buy so many. I bought several today. I think sometimes maybe you don't know exactly how many I buy because uh, we don't, we've stopped showing at the end of our episodes all the Nerf guns we bought. Maybe I'll grab the best one and show it off. But like yesterday, I brought home like 20. I think I only bought four or five today, but you probably won't see them again for this video because there's no need for me to haul them all the way inside. You get it, right? Nerf guns, you don't, you don't need to see them again. And the last thing we got to get boxed up, I sold old tails. You guys remember on a road trip, whenever we uh, found several Sonic plushies, sold this one today. It's pretty awesome. Got a, he's pretty rare, pretty hard to find. Just look how beautiful he is. I don't really collect Sonic stuff. I, I'd want to keep him, but I'm trying to keep from collecting one more thing. So there's something here in my game room that's been bugging me for a while, and it's the space right above my magazine and gaming manual collection. I just have not used that space very well, and. Uh, I want to do something better with it. So I'm gonna start 
by moving the shelf down to the, the absolute lowest it'll go right above my magazine collection. And that's unfortunately, I don't think gonna leave quite enough space for two regular game rows, but I wonder if I can't all the way around my game room get actually two shelves big enough for CDs. I definitely could do that. And maybe it would be cool just have my whole PlayStation collection wrap around my game room in one go. I don't know. Nothing I do ever in this game room is quite permanent. I just spend a lot of time experimenting and changing things around. So I'm going to do that today. Let's get this shelf moved down. And there we go, yellow shelf. I think it's going to be a perfect amount of room for a second PlayStation or CD size case. So maybe I can even do PlayStation and like Dreamcast and other. I'm thinking this is I'm thinking this is gonna work out. I'm thinking, me thinks. All right, two CD size shelves. I think this is gonna work out great. I think this is, I think this is gonna be gravy. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I do need to go on around the rest of the game room with it and make it uh, just a wrap around, but that's a good start. That looks a lot cleaner. And then now that this shelf is empty, I think I'm gonna go back to using these for what I originally used them for and put some of my controller collection on there because I've bought some nice new controller pieces in the last few weeks. So we're gonna get some of those displayed. Check out how perfect these shelves are for the controller collection. Oh, just perfect. Oh, oh, that makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. So I'm gonna take the sticker off that one, lol. Just look how they just slide right in there. Like it was meant to be. Like it was just meant to be. I don't know what else I'm gonna put in there. I, I don't have it all very well organized, but that's what it looks like. Tell me that's not beautiful. I really do like the Xbox 360 controller and all the colors that came in. So let's display my newest Xbox 360 controller. So right now this shelf, since I only have one of them, is gonna just kind of be my favorite controllers. I had five or six of these shelves, but they went into our toy booth a month or so ago. And I have more of them. They just need to be painted. So that's a project for, I don't know when, but soon. Okay, I wanna see now how many of my Game Informer magazines I can get into these big sorters. And these are all in order, so I'm going to have to kind of do this carefully. Make sure I don't get them all mixed up. Come here now. So many. You can get so many more in there. Almost. This is almost two and a half. This is almost two and a half of these. I like the way that looks a lot more. It's much cleaner. I can't wait to find more of those. It's just... The more magazine you can see, the more I like it. So very nice. All right, everything is shipped off. I feel really great about that. Now what we're gonna do is Hannah and I are gonna sit down and take a break and watch some TV before we get to filming the wrap up for today's video. And while we do that, we're gonna do something we actually really enjoy. It might seem like we're not gonna stop working, but we really do dig this. We're gonna go through these books and make some buttons. Got my hole punch. There's lots of good stuff here. Button, button. Let's see, no buttons here great button all of those almost will make buttons so we're going to take that book and then look at this the cover of this princess book all of those will make individual buttons princess buttons so button making has quickly become one of hannah and mine's uh favorite hobbies it really has this book has plenty of stuff ariel might fit in a button every single one of those will probably fit in a button it's gonna be fun. We're gonna get a lot of buttons out of these $1 books. And uh, last two or three days we went thrifting, we tried to dig through all the books and find stuff that would make buttons. But you know, when we bought our button maker to make buttons out of, we thought, well, we'll be going back to the Goodwill bin soon and we'll be able to get all the stuff we could need for a quarter and just make thousands of buttons. But uh, because of the coronavirus shutting stuff down, that hasn't exactly happened. So we're just gonna make do with what we find at the regular thrift for cheap enough. Just look at all the po button possibilities here. There's just so many. So let us go take a break and we'll get back to you once we're done cutting them out and uh, we'll put a few of them together, together. All right, let's check out today's haul. How do you how do you like them? Thumbs up, thumbs down. They're great. We got a bunch of princesses, some Disney stuff, and then just a ton of Pooh Bear. And look, there's Eeyore, much like. Look at the Evil Queen just like peeping out. Pretty good. 
Pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad for a day's haul of buttons. As long as we keep doing that every day, we're gonna have thousands and thousands of buttons. Now, let's get this video wrapped up. All right, you ready to wrap this thing up? Yeah. Okay, so yesterday's haul was awesome. And yesterday's haul was either our best haul in months, or at the very least, it was a very great start getting back into the swing of things now that things are beginning to open back up after being shut down because of the coronavirus. But I, I say that to say I'm tempted to say today's haul was better. I don't know, though, because yesterday I got a gumball machine, which is awesome, and I also got three consoles for a dollar each. If you didn't watch yesterday's episode, definitely go back and watch it. But you be the judge. Comment below. Is today's haul better or worse? Tell us while we go, because there's... There's just some stuff here I'm, I'm wildly excited about. You got some pretty crazy things today. Those, uh, those books that are coming up. <laughs> these, yeah, these manuals, they're just great. Probably the best quality manuals I've ever got at the thrift. Lots of resale value here. Um, and some games I'm excited to have. But let's, uh, let's get through some of your stuff first. I'm kind yeah. of excited to open these bags up, so I kind of forgot what we got. Now it's like <laughs> Christmas again. Yeah. I got... Ooh, these are cool. These are dead stock chick vintage jeans. That was pretty cool. I got and this was just in time because we're running out of stuff to post on our sales clo uh, clothes selling apps. Yes. So this is all welcome. Pair of Cherokee jeans. Those are cool. I like the acid wash. Got oh a corning rear lid. Which, just a lid. Yes, but I got this one specifically because it's the deeper lid and it's um. And it's not to this. No. I mean, it looks like it, but it's I know. not. <laughs> And th this dish is actually like pretty big, and if I can find it without the lid, it would be a pretty good flip. So, so yeah, I'm very cool nice, that. very nice. And then you also got a regular corningware dish here. What is this? Like a cake pan? It is like a little brownie pan. Very it's nice. Great. And then what's this thing? Ah, oh, that's what I'm, I think. That's my find of the day. Is it? That is. Do you have some of this design on it? It looks familiar. Not this design. I have wildflowers and I have strawberries. Um, I. I like this one. It's like little little vintage junk. It's cute. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I got another pair of chick jeans. These are a little older. They're pretty cool. I like the little the little pockets on them. I got a lot of jeans today. <laughs> jeans. Pair of Levi jeans. These are funky. This is really interesting. Uh, we've been selling a lot of stuff reworked, you know, Hannah's been adding stuff to them, sewing two different pairs together and selling them. Yes. And strangely enough, we found a repaired, uh, reworked pair. Yeah. This is no work for me. I'm yeah. excited about yeah, it. Yeah. We're going to post those for the price we normally post reworked things and actually not have done any of the work. I found another one. This little canister, I'm very excited about. I didn't even know they made the rose pattern. That was cool. Well, there's a tiny one. Got a little spice jar. I killed it today. And I got another pair of vintage Levi's. Is that it? Do you, want, do you want to talk about the rest of these dishes? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and finish. This one is pretty cool. It's a little strawberry shortcake mug. I liked it a lot. Um, it sells for about 10 bucks, so it was worth picking up. And this one is fun. This one's actually um, by Federal. And it's... That's it's not, not corningware? It's not. Um, I is thought it, it was milk glass? Fire King at first. It is milk glass. Um, it doesn't actually sell for a ton, but it was only a dollar, and I thought, even if I can't flip it on eBay, we'll throw it in our booth, and someone's going to be really excited about well, it. Well, speaking of which, we don't have a booth yet that we're, like, just exclusively doing dishes and stuff, but we're, we're really thinking about, once things open back up, uh, just stocking a whole booth in a flea market for reselling dishes and clothes, or di houseware and clothes. So if we find any good stuff like that that's under a couple bucks, we're getting it right now. We're going to pile it all up, and we'll either put it in a booth like that, or we'll put it on the old eBay. What else is in here? All right. We got some stuff. A whole bunch of nonsense. So we got three pops today. Let's go ahead and open them up. No idea of their value. Now, last time we found bags of pops, these aren't pops. No? These two aren't, I don't think. These are like bobbleheads. Oh. But I think Snape is. Are they pops but bobbleheads? Hmm. Are they pop bobbleheads? I this guess. This is Funko. Yeah. Okay, well, they're they're pop bobbleheads, those two, the Guardians of the Galaxy. But there's an actual pop Snape. Did you see me just rip his head off viciously? <laughs> Savage. Jiminy Cricket. Well, anyways, it was just hot glue holding him on, so I, I can fix. But, uh, yeah, I didn't realize those were that, but that's cool, because... We'll just throw him in our Harry Potter lot and make it all the more better. 
That's awesome. The last time we got pops, I was like, oh, I'll take these, and if they're not worth anything, I'll put them in our toy booth for $3 a piece. Turns out they were all like $20 or $30 pops, or most of them were. Yeah. Uh, so we've got those listed on eBay, and they're selling all right. Um, gosh dang, just all this random stuff. Some Tindo shades. I already showed you some Tindo shades today, but here's four more. Four more to add to the pile. It's so random that they add them in the bag. I mean, I've found them random and used, and most of my collections of the ones I wear are used ones I found at the thrift store. All the way back to the first pair, which was an orange pair I found at Savers. Uh, but to find a whole pack of new ones is pretty funny. Great. Ninja Scroll, not an anime I'm familiar with personally, uh, but I buy any uh, VHS like this that I come across, and we usually sell them pretty well in lots and stuff. This is really random. I don't. I guess there's some collector set of the Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening, uh, and someone didn't want to keep their art book. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a very large part of me that wants to uh, make buttons out of this because there's there's lots of spaced out drawings. So there's plenty of stuff we can make buttons out of in here. But uh, I better hold on to this just in case I come through some half put together version of whatever this originally came in, and I'll have it. But that was really random. How do you know how much she charged you? It was a dollar. Okay. Because they it, put the price tag inside oh, the book. Oh, well, that's new. They don't usually do that. But they don't. <laughs> they do that at some of the game stores here. But Okay. Good. A dollar is good. So, games and gaming manuals. I guess we'll do the games first, and then we'll talk about these gaming manuals. Uh, these games are complete nonsense. Safari Rescue. Go Diego Go. Uh, just a game I didn't have. Madagascar Cart. And, um... I'm getting closer and closer to pulling the trigger on some sort of content here on the channel where we just do racing games. I don't know. I, I'm thinking about some different options to do it, but there's just so many racing games like this. Karting games. Not really. I don't want to play NASCAR or like uh, Need for Speed, that kind of thing. I mean like goofy Mario Kart-esque karting games because I've just got so many random ones and I really want to do some content with it. So I'm, I'm working on ways to maybe do that, which is why I scooped this up. I would have paid anything for that because... It's bound to be pretty great. It's probably really fun. It probably is. NHL 2000, which is awesome because I, I just organized my uh, PlayStation collection. So one more for that yeah. shelf. Strawberry Shortcake, the Sweet Dreams game. Let's go. And then the B-movie game, and it's complete. I was very happy about this. Uh, I picked it up, and it didn't feel heavy enough to be complete, but that manual is like three, like not very many pages. Uh, Bakugan, a game I was certain I had, but I've got it on the Wii, not the PS2. Mm. So nice to get that out of the way. It's like, that looks familiar. <laughs> yeah. And then this Beyblade case. Rip. Well, I, only, I got it for a dollar, so hopefully the game's not terribly valuable and I can just get the loose disc for a couple bucks and get it just as cheap as I would have anyways. But at any rate, I really love Beyblade, so happy. Did you talk to... about this yet? Not yet. I'm getting to it. Mm. That's one of my, uh, it might be like find of the day for me i'm not sure yet but it's a super pad and uh i've you know also worked on my controller collection today and very happy to put that i'll have to 3d print a stand to put it on but that's beautiful now let's get into these gaming manuals and i'll just kind of start with the randomness i have a halo 4 manual here and i don't know if this originally came in some sort of sleeve or what but uh i pretty much have all the halo manuals now except for this one that's a big beautiful one and i've only paid a dollar for it I could have just found this today and been happy. That's a hefty book. It's very heavy. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm just going to go through the rest of these manuals one by one. Some of these, I feel like I might already have a Jack 2 manual. So this might be a double. If it is, well, good. I'll just sell it. Uh, but if not, this is probably the one or one of the ones I'll keep. Uh, Ico. I mean, couldn't believe I found this. I'll be able to resell this and make uh, a little bit of the money back we spent today. Um, Anamusha, the official strategy guide. I, another game I've been wanting to get back to playing. I have such great memories of playing this kid game when I was a kid. So, might keep it. Metal Gear Solid 3, another one I might already have, but again, I'll resell that. Probably resell that one in the toy booth. It's not worth quite as much as the other ones. And Titanfall, I only bought it because it was a dollar. I mean, come on. Dollar manual, every time. Woo! Same for Destiny. And I'm interested to flip through here and see what these post-it notes are because somebody has kept kept note of something i don't know what but again a dollar and then the rest of these are just all great just just wonderful the mark of uh Ka kree i always want to say kai when i see it but the mark of kree gaming manual this one's in perfect condition we'll probably put that up on the old ebay um we could put these on tindo's trash i don't know how interested some of you guys might be in them but we've we've been doing terrible our whole plan with tindo's trash was always to just put anything uh 
gaming related that we do find that we're going to resell on there just so you guys can at least have the chance to get it if it's not something we're keeping but we've been pretty lazy about it once the coronavirus hit and everything got locked down we we're like well you know we're not gonna have a lot to post we've been slacking but we need to get some of this on there gauntlet dark legacy also probably gonna retail that for a few bucks same with this Baldur's gate 2 these are just all the manuals that were there that uh sold for more than a couple bucks on ebay recently and uh this one, man, I don't have a copy of Dark Cloud, but uh, that looks, I, I just, I couldn't believe that was there. A Dark Cloud uh, companion guide. Just wild. I, I couldn't believe it. And that was the first stop, too, all those manuals. Yeah. But, that was wild. Yeah, that was a great haul. Today was a good haul. Lots of miscellaneous, a few games, manuals, dishes. A Honestly, I think today was a little bit of everything we bought, but that wasn't even it. Here's probably the actual find of the day. Um... An iPod Nano, right? Yes. Not not the other one. Um, and this is, I think we figured out it was a sixth generation. I kind of want to keep it just because I like how small they are. It's like the smallest touchscreen one, and that's cool. But uh, we might as well just go on and sell it and, you know, have a good sales day because of all this stuff we got. But it is cool to find one, especially just sitting there on the shelf at the Goodwill. That was pretty random. I had found one, in, well... I think the last one I found was a shuffle, and I found it in the bottom of a bin at the Goodwill bins. So to find a nano like that, pretty cool. That's it, guys. I want you guys to comment below and let us know what your favorite thing that we got today was. Hannah, what was your favorite thing? Probably these canisters because I really want to collect a ton of them, like irrationally. <laughs> yeah, I can't pick. I, I guess just I guess I'll just say the manuals. Just all of them. Just all of it. <laughs> all, all of it. Yeah, it was just good. So many good manuals there. Hold on. I'm missing one. Wait. I knew, oh, that one. I knew something wasn't right. The rated R one, or should be rated R. Basically, if I open this up, there's a bunch of, you know. Scantily clad drawings. Yeah, inside of there. <laughs> and even the back. We'll show that off. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Just blur the whole back. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing's like that. Um, and... It's actually really difficult to find this particular manual for sale on eBay right now. There's one up for auction, and that's it. And it's even hard to find one that has sold recently. So, I'll probably just put this up for a price somewhere close to uh, what I've seen one sell. Like, I think I saw one that sold for like 45 so we'll probably put it up for 40 or 45 That's pretty awesome. I don't have any interest in playing Leisure Suit Larry, but that's funny. <laughs> Leisure Suit Larry... Magna Cum Laude. That's uh, not a game I particularly plan on playing, so we might as well just go ahead and sell it. I'd be pretty happy if I found a copy of it. If we found a copy of it, you think we should play it on the bad video game? Or <laughs> you think we'd be demonetized? Probably. All right, well, it seems racy. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Do comment below what your favorite thing we found today, and then do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Hit that subscribe button, pretty please. Help us get to 2,000 subs really, really quick. Hit that notification bell so that when we post a video tomorrow, you can come back in and hang out with us. And also, before we go, guys, please go join our Discord. The link for it's below. You just click on that link. Possibly install an app. If not, just sign into it online. You can just come chat with us there. It's a pretty good time over on the Discord. We'd love to have you, especially if you've been thinking about joining for a long time. Now's the time to do it. And then the last thing I can ask of you guys is go check out our website. Pretty please. TendosTrash.com. Some of the stuff that we find when we thrift that we think you guys might be interested in, we'll throw it up there so you have a chance to look at it. But otherwise, our merch is over there on TendosTrash.com. We got new stuff we're adding all the time. Go check it out, pretty please. But that's it, guys. Until tomorrow, peace out.